or to all of the DMs that come in, the direct messages. And one of the things that I get asked often through their account is, where can I find a distributor for Step Kill or Scout Wheel? And I want you to know that Step has that covered. On their website, they've got a distributor locator right there on the website, so you can find a distributor in your area. All you got to do is click on it, and it'll pop up all the distributors. So if you want to find a distributor, go to step.com to find a distributor near you. Okay, we're all ceramicists, and we know what it's like to make pieces that are made of clay. But there are some things that need those extra bits and bobs, the extra pieces, just to finish them off because it's not fully functioning without those extra things that are not specifically ceramic, such as a wooden honey dipper that we all put into your honey pot. That's not a ceramic thing, or a lamp part that is the wire and the lamp holder, you know, things like that, or the clock hand. Those are the things that kind of finish off your ceramic work. You can find all those extra bits and bobs over at Georgie's under accessories. So if you want to get those finishing touches, you want to go to Georgie.com. Brandon, one of the things that that a person like you is that like you're, you're exceptionally creative. Like I'm seeing that as you, like if I go through your Instagram feed and look at what you do, you're a creative person. So I want to ask you, like, how do you define creative? Well, for me, I think the biggest thing is I think it's just the ability to see potential in everything. And I felt like that, especially, you know, as it relates to clay, you know, you look, you look at these, you know, just blobs of earth, you know, that, that you can mold and you can do stuff with, and, and uh, you can make anything out of it, really. And, and I see it every day in, in everything I do, really. And, and it kind of ties into my love of skateboarding, too. Like, I don't know who else goes down and walk, you know, drives around town and walks in the street and looks at the stairs and is, is, is fascinated by stairs and, and handrails and, and just random things on the street. It's about being creative and thinking, you know, on a skateboard, what can I do on that? And, you know, in the studio with Clay, what can I do with this? How can I make this into something beautiful in a way? So I think just being able to see the potential in things is what being creative is about. How much does drawing from your background what you are making? Um, I think it. I think it affects what I'm making more than I kind of more than I allow it to in a way. I think everything from my background plays into what I'm making. You know, whether I want it to or not. You know, there's always these outside influences that push you one way or another, and they kind of shape the way that you see the world. And I think it shapes what I put into what, what I put into my own works. I think really everything. How does, uh, how does the, the current social world that we're living in right now, does that make an impact on the way you make or what you make? Yeah, I would say so. And, and not always for the better. A lot of times it's for the worst. I mean, not a lot of times. Sometimes it's for the worst. I think, uh, especially with things like Instagram and things like that, it's a very good platform, I think, for showing your work and, and discovering work that you like. But at the same time, I... You know, sometimes I, I felt kind of, you know, especially with, with some of the things that I post, I felt like, you know, why am I actually doing this? Am I doing this because it's, you know, something that I'm interested in or is it because I want someone to see this and then be interested in it? So I think it's kind of a push-pull of both positive and negative, so. Mm -hmm. So you, you, that gives you a little bit of information about, about how it works, but what role does an artist have in the world today? What role does an artist have in the world today? Uh, I think artists have an important role. One, I think we're, we're getting to the point where everything is so one directional in a way, you know, with, with certain pushes. You can't, you can't have, you really can't have everything you have without, without the artists that, that have the creative minds that, that think through the problem. Um, I think creative thinking in general is important. And, and once, once everybody, you know, no matter what fit they go out into, sees themselves as an artist, and kind of establish themselves as an artist in their own right, that's when you know, problems start being solved. Hmm. Hmm. I like that. Let me ask you about the influence of people around you. How important is it to have other creative people in your life? Uh, it's, ex it's extremely important, I think, you know, uh, to have a community of, of people that, that know, or, or that have, I guess, a similar experience, you know, uh, especially those that are makers, too. Uh, 
being able to look at other people's work and have them look at yours and being able to have a, a conversation and, and a little bit of a critique about it, you definitely get to see the things in your own work that uh, you overlook and you can get good feedback from people and at the same time you can see things in other people's work that uh, you really, really like and you can pick their brain and why they're in certain things and, and discover new things from them. Oh, I love that. One of the things that I think is usually I need triggers that certain things that will come up in your life is a trigger or something else that happens. So do you have any triggers in your life that help to get you into creative mode? Um, honestly, sometimes it's just uh, it's just having a good day. I think that's the biggest trigger that makes me creative, especially and, and with me, I always I. Personally, I always connect, you know, my, my love of ceramics and skateboarding together. And I feel like sometimes when I when I feel more creative skateboarding and I do something new skateboarding, it kind of helps me be more positive about being creative doing ceramics, and it makes me want to do it more, you know, because I have those two kind of polar things that kind of tug at each.